Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have such a good video for you today where I bring you the positivity back once more. I have the biggest smile on my face right now. I am, well, have a guess, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Obviously I've been away for nearly two months, two months straight traveling. Uh, obviously made a lot of brilliant memories, met a lot of really nice people and uh, really did miss the charts. So I'm actually really, really, really happy. It's like I wrote over on Twitter today. It's like, I truly feel like I've been reborn with like this new energy and excitement. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna see for me the contenders live streams, the champions live streams, live streams in between these, and just, you know, being really active once more inside of the Discord. So uh, hopefully <laughs> this is news to your ears. I know a lot of people really, really, really did miss me. So I know <laughs> this the fact that I'm back alone gonna be active active once more is going to bring a lot of people's a lot of smiles to people's faces uh obviously today we're also bringing back the uh daily update sheets this was this has been away for several several months now as well and we're bringing that back so you can expect to see this every single day giving you all of the important levels within inside of the bitcoin chart yeah that's uh, something that we've decided to bring back along with my return today so without further said or do ladies and gentlemen i truly 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 hope that you love this video because I am going to love making it for you. And without said or without nothing, let's just go. Let's just go into the charts. Okay, so obviously I've been doing like very sporadic updates every now and then when I had time and when I had internet. Um, you know, I think it's been very clear over the past few months while I was away, you know, I've had those really nice short positions. I've been more than happy to short and chill, you know, that just means stay in my short positions either waiting to see a sign of strength, which I would have reacted to, potentially taking a long, closed out some percentage of my shorts, or wait for lower, which was always my preferred scenario, because I'm obviously was, was short. And we, we've obviously dropped since that original short position, very heavily over the past few days, bottoming out currently at around $25,000. Quite a significant level actually in the Bitcoin chart. When you kind of zoom out in the chart, you know that this, you know, this has been our major lows there around $28,000, you know, well, since we actually originally made those back in nearly, uh, January 21, okay, when we started to find support initially around $28,000. So, you know, this is a significant, significant region and overall could give you the range bound scenario. What I want to do today is talk about more of this lower term time frame range that's going on here, how we can be looking to you know, be aware of the larger term time frame context, but also then be able to, you know, take actionable trades based off of the large term time frame on the smaller term time frame because that's how we're coming in here on the lower term time frame to actually get our entries okay so i could do a really 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 in-depth live stream on some of the high term time frame analysis which i am going to do by the way um but in today's video i just want to focus on the lower term time frames here just give you some really key levels Okay, so obviously we can see we've been going you know, relatively sideways since the 13th. So three, for the past few days now, yeah, we're, we're, we're totally range bound sideways. A few things to bear in mind that's going on here. Obviously, we had a really key daily level, which was around $30,000. This has now been traded few, through several times. I've actually removed this level. For me, the weekly is still really key though above us. And this is coming in at 31,773. It's obviously an old weekly level, but for me remaining key, giving us that $32,000 region of resistance. Okay, and I wanna just like emphasize really you know, I really want to emphasize this is not an exact dollar weekly. For me, this is 100% a zone. Of course, we can be taking it from all of these highs. Okay, so all those highs that were made, 33, 300-ish, down to that weekly. This is a, this is our resistance zone, okay? We're looking at these several regions of highs here up to that weekly. You know, in my opinion, <laughs> that's clearly our resistance zone at the moment. Of course, that's not to say that we cannot break that resistance. We could, of course, see a big sign of strength breaking that level, back testing it and holding us support, and then really simply we'll be looking to engage our next level above us, which will we, which I hope you know is obviously our larger range value area low. That's still our current key level. But for the time being, of course, this weekly is acting as you know, this weekly zone for me is literally the next resistance here on the chart. And you might be wondering where, why is this key level of support below us? Well, actually, if you pull a few different fixed ranges here, the one that I was um, 
going to show you here was actually this zone of the last point of control of the of the uptrend that was put in from obviously the low at twenty five thousand dollars when you pull the the range of the move down from that you know that caused the new low up to the rally high you can actually see really nicely how we back tested that point of control here to pretty much the exact dollar <laughs> and we saw that bounce and where did it bounce up to kind of bounced up to the overall range that we got going on here point of control zone so we can see quite clearly the point of controls absolute key levels i think we've known that now for absolute years but of course those point of controls are really important levels and also what was going on here at the same time as we had that push up into that you know larger range point of control there's a few things that we could have you know took notice of of why did we reject it so why did we reject then up at this high of course we know a few facts already we were moving up into the point of control of the larger range that we got going on here we have been taking the highs that were formed on the 13th of may from our first rally so these are two significant points third of thirdly we had the cme gap okay so the cme gap was obviously opening with a originally the close on friday of the cme was below us so we opened with a cme gap below us at that point so we had the cme gap we had the move into the point of control we had the fact that we were coming up and taking highs this is a level where you know your lower term time frames are going to traders are going to be taking profits on top of this we had a fourth and arguably the largest reason of the drop and that was where we formed these bearish cvd divergences on the secondary push-up that we had here this was a coming into around 12 p.m uk time we actually had a secondary push push up here with around seven 6.5 million longs opening new longs opening at market unable to take the high that means we got our larger traders with their short positions at limit order absorbing all of those longs and then as we go into the daily close we actually then lose that market structure leaving all of the longs up at the high trapped and obviously then giving fuel for that push downwards to of course fill <laughs> I'm back to fill that CME gap. So I think I even posted about this. To, yeah. So this was a post. That I, yeah, there you go. 4 a.m. <laughs> Who knows what I do at 4 a.m. Where it's actually come up over and check the charts. You know, we were aware of that CME gap. We were very close to filling it at 4 a.m. And obviously we did manage to fill it in the subsequent hours there coming in at around 6.30 with that final push to the downside here bouncing off the value area low of our range here to pretty much the exact dollar once more uh, filling that CME gap and giving another bounce. So I think, you know, just this brief walkthrough here, which I've been talking for the past five minutes, I've managed to explain to you pretty well exactly why the lows and uh, the well i haven't explained this overall low because this was a, meant for a different video but obviously this was a weekly naked point of control got our original bounce up to the range point of control we rejected filled the cme gap where we bounced off the value area low of this range so currently we have this mini range going on important look at this value area high on the weekly level by the way that's pretty nice but obviously we currently bounced off the value area low of this and our point of control is as always acting as a nice level for the uh, you know for more of the lower term time frame traders here so you might be thinking, okay, then what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Well, clear, clearly, we do have a range to be trading. We actually have a larger range between like that $32,000, $33,000 resistance all the way down to $25,000 being really simply our actual low that's made. This could still end in an overall larger range. And within that, we, start, we are starting to form a sub range, okay? Currently, simply between the value area low and the point of control. But for me, the larger and more important levels with this will be my key level here coming in at basically around $28,000 to the resistance there around $32,000, $33,000. These are for me are the, the, the bigger level of support, which I'd be more interested in, and the bigger level of resistance that I'm more interested in. You know, this is talking more, you know, take a trade and hopefully leaving it one or two days. Of course, if you're scalp trading and you are down on the much lower term time frame, such as the, you know, the 30 minute and below, of course, there's, there is, you've already, you know, arguably you've already taken three trades, in my opinion, the long off the reclaim of the daily, the short off of this, and a, you know arguably a long once more off of taking these series of lows off the value area low but again that's for for much more of the lower term time frame traders um, obviously today we do have great volatility once more in the altcoins obviously you see a lot of reds today but red is not a reason to be scared i know a lot of people become fearful when there's redness in the market they're like oh my god price is going down um but 
you know, you can make money when price is going down. There's absolutely no reason to be scared. It's just another opportunity. Whether you're in the position of only ever wanting to long, well, red is an opportunity to get into a better long position, no? Or whether you're, like myself, comfortable to short these altcoins, you know, <laughs> volatility equals opportunity. And, uh, you know, we definitely have massive volatility on the altcoins today. Uh, well, we have actually had great volatility on the altcoins now for, for several weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back today. I'm going to actually dive hardcore into the altcoins because I myself know I've had so many alerts popping off, but I've restrained. I've really held myself back from trading while I've been away. But today I'm back. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in, go into the altcoins, do an in-depth analysis on those alts, and I'm going to pick the best opportunities that have shown themselves over the last few weeks. Uh, you know, off the top of my head, one that I'm really liking at the moment is Soul Solana. Uh, so if you want to see an update on Soul, uh, smash that like button. Yeah, I'll say maybe if we get 3,000 likes, I put it up to you. I'll do my uh, Elliott Wave count on Solana, which has been... <clears throat> If, if you're inside the group, you know my Sol Solana Elliott Wave count and it's been pretty perfect, but I'll share that to the public if you want to see that. Uh, for the members, I am going to do a members only update where I will be covering these altcoins for you in depth. Obviously on Wednesday, I got the contenders live stream. I'll be doing that. I'll be back for this Sunday's champions live stream. And of course, I'm going to be active in the group as you have come to absolutely love. So that's uh, that's my update of today. It's just a really quick one basically to announce, hey, I'm back, everybody. I've got a big smile on my face and um, I hope that you are thoroughly excited to uh, you know see the updates that I'm going to be giving you once more. And um, yeah, then just a subsection of some of the key levels that we have going on in here. Some of the reasons for educational, why we have rejected where we rejected from, why we've bounced from where we've bounced from. Just, you know, I'm going over this past price action here so you can really integrate into your brain. Hey, this is why that happened. You know, this is a reoccurring pattern. These are the levels you need to be aware of, you know, and just so over time you can become more accustomed to how I'm trading, you know, every single day, you know. Um, so I truly hope this has helped you. I hope I've given you some perspective of why you don't need to be scared. Hey, we've got a range to trade. Let's trade the range. This is what we absolutely love with Inside Chart Champions. It's kind of our speciality. Um, and until then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you over in the Discord. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And um, yeah, let's go team. Let's continue to crush the charts. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for bearing with me while I was away. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to be back. Thank you ever so much. I love you all and see you over in the Discord. Cheers.